welcome to the second video on the very history channel i just want to say thank you for the support of the last video of shawliullah i never thought it would get that many likes and that many views in under the i just released it like yesterday noon or something so thank you very much for that and if if you are interested in this type of video like of the religious thinkers leaders and reformers then please subscribe to the channel i will be putting out more videos about other thinkers like uh, i'm i'm going to make this video about sayed ahmed sayed brailvi and i'm going to make more videos about other different thinkers so yeah let's just start the video sayed ahmed sayed brailvi early biographical details sayed ahmed sayed brailvi was born in lucknow in a small town in 1786 in 1806 he moved to delhi and enrolled in the madrasa e rahimia and studied under the sons of shawliullah in 1810 sayed ahmed joined the forces of amir khan who was a skilled skilled leader who was uh, organizing a jihad for the freedom of muslims so Sayyid Ahmed got inspired by that. He spread his name by being so able that he was given his own army, his own group of men to lead in battle. So in 1817, he came back to Delhi to restore Islam to its original purity by armed jihad. His main beliefs: Sayyid Ahmed believed that the religious freedom of the Muslims could only come from armed struggle. It could not come. from it could not be as efficient to write books or try to persuade the rulers to leave or any other method he thought that armed struggle or as it is most commonly known in the muslim world jihad would be the only way to restore islam to its original purity and to overthrow the shackles of foreign domination sayyid ahmed wanted to make more, more people pious and wanted to make muslims work to improve other muslims lives this would create a type of unity in the muslim world and would also improve the standing of muslims as a religious nation as everyone would be more pious and would be willing to work out to help each other this would lead to the welfare of the whole community sayyid ahmed's main works/contributions Say them started the jihad movement and in 1826 he attacked Ranjit Singh who was the who was the ruler of Punjab who was not letting muslims uh, perform their religious duty like he banned giving of the call of prayer which was uh, the call for prayer is the main a main part of the muslim faith so he sent uh, a first sayed ahmed sent a warning to ranjit singh to st- to let the call for prayer be said and uh, ranjit singh didn't listen to sayed ahmed so sayed ahmed was forced to attack ranjit singh at akora where the six of ranjit singh the sikh army of ranjit singh suffered defeat at the hands of the mujahideen as sayed ahmed called his force his group of men at akora he was ambushed again of when he was going for another attack and was fated by a pathan chief who he had enlisted uh, this pathan chief first tried to poison sayed ahmed shahid brailvi so that he could not lead his army anymore and after he was unsuccessful at poisoning sayed ahmed he deserted the battlefield with his with the men he who were under him so that, that caused confusion and ultimately led to the mujahideen's defeat after the defeat he realized he was no longer safe at peshawar which was where he had established his main base so he went to the safe valley of balakot where he tried to liberate the people and the communities of the nwfp in 
he fought in the battle of balakot and got martyred uh, this battle was fought against the son of the pran chief who had betrayed him uh, 7 years earlier after his death the jihad movement struggled to survive and thus did not have a long uh, lasting lifetime but it did have lot of influence uh, the next section is about the movement's influence slash importance sayyid ahmed's work was influential because it was the first movement formed to free muslims from foreign rulers in india because this was the first time foreign rulers had came over india and the muslims had done armed struggle or jihad had participated in jihad to overthrow these foreign rulers and to restore muslim power the movement was also a uniting force for muslims sayyid ahmed's army had many different people from many different areas like he had pathans people from afghanistan and from many other areas so he basically united the muslims into one army for one cause and this was not to place a certain leader in power it was to give muslims religious and spiritual freedom to practice their own faith it was also to give muslim social freedom so that they could perform islamic practices in public without any fear of being oppressed by other people the jihad movement was also important because it is regarded as the forerunner of the uh, pakistan movement which uh, because it was an inspiration for muslims who were fighting for their own homeland they saw sayyid ahmed as a sign of inspiration and that gave them more courage and the will power to keep on fighting for their homeland because they believed that they would be successful if they were fighting for the right thing thank you for that's all about sayyid ahmed shaheed bareilly and thank you for watching this video if you like this video leave a like down below and don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos about important personalities uh, important islamic personalities and yeah i'll just create a playlist of these personalities and you can easily access all of them that i will be uploading in the few days that come after so yeah thank you for watching and as always goodbye